It still feels so weird to me and kind of vulnerable to start a video with no makeup on but I do want to start doing more like get ready with me some stuff so that's what we're gonna do today. Um, I actually went shopping yesterday with a friend of mine, Melissa, hello, and we bought a lot of stuff or I bought a lot of stuff. She bought some stuff too but I bought a lot of stuff so today I just want to do a little get ready with me and just play around with a lot of new products and just try them out and see if I like them. And I also got a few samples from her that I want to try out, so I think we're just going to start off. And the first thing that I want to try out is this little Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. Um, I've seen a lot of people say good things about this, so I'm going to put some of this on. I've already moisturized, so we're just going to pop a little bit of this on my finger. I don't know if I'm supposed to be putting this on my whole face. I'm just going to warm this up in my hand here. And just kind of press it in around my nose area where my pores are the worst. And it feels very, very thick. So I don't think I'll be putting this all over my face. So usually I would go in with my Frasali drops that I've shown before. And I really like these, but today I guess I'm just going to stick to the Becca primer and see if I like that at all. I'm not sure if this is the, the pink bottle that I've been seeing a lot of people use. This is what it looks like right here in the mini. So I'm not sure if that's the same one, but I will uh, let you guys know how I like this. It's gonna be tough for me to really judge the product just by putting it on once. Uh, for my foundation today, I don't have a new foundation, so I'm just going to be using my NARS. I'm honestly not sure if the color is going to match me right now because I used to be a little bit tanner and now I'm a little bit paler because I haven't really gone outside a lot because it's been 110 degrees every day here. So I live in Vegas, by the way. If any of you guys live in Vegas or ever in Vegas, please hit me up and we can go shopping together. So I'm going to use my NARS with my Hourglass foundation brush. I like this brush. It's pretty good. not going to be a tutorial this is just me putting on makeup trying some new stuff letting you know how I feel about them and just I guess you getting to know me a little bit better uh, if you guys have any questions for me just let me know down in the comments and maybe at some point I will do a Q&A but I figure since my channel is so new still like there's not that many people watching me so I'm not gonna make a whole like about me video yet So I'm not sure if you guys know, but I always film all my videos in natural lighting. So what you see on me is probably a pretty good representation of how it actually looks in real life. So next I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm using the shade Light Neutral. You know that feeling when you put concealer on and then you can't find the brush that you normally use to blend it out and the concealer dries on your face? Yeah, that's me right now. So I can't find my brush. I'm just going to use this little BH Cosmetics 129 brush because I don't want this to dry completely. And I like to just go over my concealer edges with my foundation brush after I'm done blending it out just to make sure that there's no harsh transitions. And to set, I'm going to use my Cover Effects Loose Powder. I'm going to use a little brush to set under my eyes first. I don't really like to bake because I do tend to have some lines under my eyes. I mean, I'm getting older, so that's just what happens. And I'd love to know how old you guys think I am. Just leave that down in the comments and I would love to read it because I think you'll all be surprised if you knew my age. And to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use a large fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics. Next, I'm going to prime my eyes and I'm going to be using my MAC Paint Pot. I know, like, when I do my makeup, my steps are just all over the place. Like, I don't really have an order in which I do my makeup. It's just very random from day to day. And so this is just what I'm going to do right now today because I want to just put this on and set this so I can be done with powders and all that stuff and move on to the face products or the fun products I should say. Okay, I'm just going to set my eye 
primer using my Urban Decay Single Shadow. And I'm trying to pan this, which I mean, I've already hit pan on it, but I'm trying to use it up because it is so freaking old. Like, I don't know how old this is, but it's gotta be like five years, maybe even more. I wonder if there's like a expiration date on this. And is this two years? Well, it's definitely past that, so. Let me know how many things do you guys have in your collection that are like way expired, but that you still use on a day-to-day -day basis. Like I'm sure a lot of eyeshadow palettes are like way past their expiration date, but I find that they still work really well, so. I mean, why not keep using them as long as they don't do you any harm? You might as well get your money's worth. All right, so that's done. I'm going to go in with my ColourPop brow pen. This is in the shade Banging Brunette, and I'm just gonna use this to fill in my brows. And I don't do anything fancy when I fill in my brows. I literally first start off by underlining them. And I like to extend my brows quite far so I feel like I have more room up here to put my eyeshadow. And then next I'm going to just put a line above my brows. Making a little bit of an arch up here. Just connecting it. And when I've done that, I literally just like color it in. Like I'm not even joking. I don't worry about doing hair like strokes. I just want to get my brows on as quickly as possible. And when I'm at the beginning here, I try, I try to kind of flick it up and not make it as harsh as the rest of the brow. And I spool it out. And I go back and fill it in again. And then I do that like three more times until I'm happy with it, which I never am. And then I give up and I say that my brows are done. So speaking of my friend that I was with yesterday, we actually met here on YouTube. Uh, we were both watching Georgia Harris live chat. I will link her channel down below if you haven't watched her yet, but she's great. She's really funny. I love her channel so much, but we were watching her live chat and we were in the same chat room and I don't know how we got on the topic of of Vegas, but somehow we both figured out that we lived in Vegas and we started DMing each other on Instagram and then not long after we were like, hey, let's go shopping together. So we went shopping and now we're friends. So that's really cool. It's cool that you can meet people online like that these days. And also we're actually going to go to Sephora. I don't know if you guys have heard of Sephora, but it's basically like a big like beauty convention that Sephora has announced that they're going to have in LA in October. And I'm not sure if there's still tickets available, but I will leave the link down below for that. If any of you are going, please, please, please let me know. I would love to meet you guys. That would be so awesome. But yeah, I'm really excited. It's going to be fun to see a lot of the retailers that, uh, that are going to be there and just what the vibe is going to be like, because this is the, their first time doing it, so I think it'll be a lot of fun. And I'm sorry if I keep looking in the mirror while talking, but, you know, doing makeup takes a lot of concentration, so. And if this video ends up being like 45 minutes long, I apologize, but I don't, because that's just the... Uh, that's just how get ready with me's are, I feel like. It's really tough to cut them down too much, unless you don't want to talk at all, and then what's the point you're not really doing? Get ready with me. So I think doing my brows while talking is just not really a good idea, because... Yeah, they're just not even at all. Okay, so next one I'm going to do, I also got this Ofra Makeup Fixer, it's a spray. I also got this from Melissa, and she said she didn't like it because it smells really bad, so I'm gonna try it. I did spritz it yesterday though, just to like kind of try it out, and I didn't think it smelled that bad, so it says light refreshing mist that keeps makeup in place all night long. So I don't know if this is supposed to be a replacement for Fix Plus or for All Nighter, or you can use it for anything, but it does say that it makes your makeup last longer, but I'm going to use it more of like a refreshing spray, and I like to do this after I put on my powders before I put on my blush and bronzers just to kind of melt the powder in with the foundation first. So I don't really think that smells bad at all. I'm going to use my fan. Again, if you don't have one of these, you're messing out. And I will link one down in the description box for you. All right, so we're done with the boring stuff. Now we're going to move on to the more fun stuff, but I'm actually going to take my hair down because I just don't feel, my, feel like myself when I wear my hair back. It's always been a big insecurity of mine. Like I grew up and I've always had bangs and 
I don't know, I've just gotten like some weird comments like growing up from my family members and stuff and so I'm just a little bit insecure about it and it's something that I'm working on so for me to actually start off a, a video like bare face with my hair back is kind of like a big deal so. so we're just gonna go with this and also since my brows aren't perfect actually I'm not even gonna say that I'm so sick of people apologizing for not be per being perfect so I don't want to be one of those people. I don't know if you guys can relate, but like every time I see someone being like, oh my god, I have a pimple on my on my face, like I'm so sorry, like, what do you mean? Like, that's life, it ha happens to all of us. Like, don't apologize for the way you look. Don't apologize for not having washed your hair in two days. Like, nobody gives a shit. Like, just, just own it, you know? And that's the rant for the day. I've just, I don't know. It's just something that really bugs me every time. So I just had to get that out there. So. The next thing that I have, let's see, I think I'm going to start with this. So this is an hourglass exclusive that we got at Nordstrom and it's a face palette. I don't know if you guys remember or if I even talk about this, but I said I wanted to get there a new holiday release that's coming out this fall or Christmas. I will put up a picture like right here so you can see which one I mean. It's a six pan palette that have like blushes and bronzers and highlighters and stuff in it. But then I saw this. And so basically you have a highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer. And I think this is perfect. Like this is so pretty. So I'm going to first go in with the bronzer and see what that looks like. I don't know if there's a name on this. If this is still available, I would put, put a link down in the description box. And you can see if you can find it on uh, Nordstrom's website. But they were pretty much sold out. So. This is, these are all in the light version, so we have diffused light, diffused heat, diffused bronze light. So I'm going to tap into the bronzer. Let's see how this looks. And I'm not really seeing much of anything, to be honest. Do you guys see anything? I don't see anything. I don't know how I feel about that. And now that I'm like looking at this packaging, there's like a little tester sticker on the back of it. And I'm kind of wondering if they put one of the testers in a package and sold it to me. Like, that is just not cool. Not sure how I feel about that. I'm going to have to probably take this back and return it. But I'm still going to try it out. I don't really like this bronzer. It doesn't have a lot of pigment. I mean, I'm seeing a little bit. It just takes a little while to build up. So, I mean, it's fine. I can't say I love it. It looks okay. I'm going to try the blush as well I think. Let me just see here. So I also got this Dior Backstage and this is like a face palette. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I've been drooling over this for so long and I really told myself that I wasn't going to get it because it's so expensive but we went to Sephora and I looked at it and I asked Melissa do I need this and she said yes and put it in my cart so. Why are these things so hard to open? don't understand. It's like they don't want me to use it. Okay, so here's what the palette looks like. I'm gonna read what it says on the back. So it says stroke white, stroke gold. So the top ones here are both highlighters and then it says blush pink and blush bronze. So I'm not sure if these are blushes and bronzers show you up close because they have they have shimmer in them but i think i want to go in with this or maybe i should go in with the hourglass first and then i can use that as a topper let's try that so i'm going to dip back into my hourglass and this looks like it's got more pigment to it oh see this i really like this is really pretty yeah i like this a lot more than i like the bronzer yeah. see that one's pretty good even in the viewfinder so I'm okay with that, but I don't know how I feel about this saying it's a tester. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to also dip into this pink shade right here just to see if I can put a little bit of topper on here. And I actually like how that looks a lot. I'm going to put a lot more on and then I'm going to show you a little bit close up. And it definitely has some sheen to it. So if you don't like a shimmery blush or bronzer, you're not gonna like this. But I don't mind it at all. So let me get up close 
and I'm not sure if you can see this compared to this side. But yeah, I like this a lot. I think that's really pretty. I'm gonna put some more on this side. I'm gonna be glowing to the gods today. And I forgot to bronze my neck, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. Or my jaw, I should say. Like, I really notice a big difference doing this. Like, I feel like it looks very not proportionate if I forget to bronze this area. Okay, so I think what I wanna do next is I wanna go in with this highlight. And I think I wanna mix these two together because I feel like the white one might be a little bit too light for me. And I'm using my Sephora highlighting brush. Ooh, oh, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. This palette, I, I love this. The Hourglass palette, on the other hand, not so sure about it. Like, I feel like if I'm going to buy a three pan palette for $65, like, I need to love all of them and not just two of them. And so I'm gonna try the last one here. I am honestly not sure if this is one of their finishing powders or if it is an, a highlighter. I'm gonna look that up real quick. It's called Diffuse Light. So I'm just gonna pull out my phone and, phone and Google that because the finishing powder that I have is called Ambient Lighting. And I just wanna make sure. Okay, so this is the finishing powder. So I'm gonna use it for that. I have a very specific brush that I like to use for this, and it is the Morphe G7. <laughs> that was very smooth, wasn't it? Okay, so it's the G7, it looks like this. It is extremely fluffy, very soft. And so I'm going to just dig my brush into here and try not to get the blush on it because that would not look very good. And then I'm just going to buff that all over my face. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Here's what my complexion looks like now up close. This is all natural lighting, like I said earlier. And I think that looks really pretty from looking in the mirror. It's very glowy and shiny, but without being too much, you know what I mean? So next we're going to, let me just make some room here because my desk is a mess. If you could see this, you would laugh. I'm actually working on moving all my makeup in here eventually. I just put in an order from Ikea for some drawers. And I also got like a clothing rack that hopefully I can put like behind me and then use as a backdrop. And I bought some fabric and stuff. So we'll see how that goes. Like, am I a beauty girl yet or what? Like, <laughs> it is so funny to me because I didn't think that I would take this as seriously as I do. Like when I first started making videos, I was like, maybe I'll make a video a week and then I start making videos and now I've been putting up a video every day so needless to say I think I'm a little obsessed with this and it is so much fun like I've, I've been really enjoying it and I'm so happy that you guys are enjoying it too and that we're kind of like growing a little family together here I think that's so awesome so let's see what do we want to do next is it time to move on to eyes yet no I don't want to move on to eyes yet I want to put on some lipstick and so I got this new hourglass one sec, there's new, it's not even the right way, I can't see, that's like, yeah, either way. So I got this hourglass lipstick and it looks so freaking sleek. Have you seen anything like this? It looks like a weapon, like I could stab someone like this, I could kill someone, I'm pretty sure if I try. So it comes like this and I've already opened it because I wanted to try it. And so you can obviously twist it up and then it's refillable. So when you're done with this, you can purchase a new one. And so this whole thing was, I want to say $35. Don't quote me on that. I'll put the price on the screen for you. And I think the refills are 22. So, I mean, this was a pretty expensive product, but I just, I was a sucker for the packaging. Like usually I don't care for the packaging, but like, I mean, can we just, like that is just so cool. So I'm going to put this on and it is so creamy. Also, I love how precise the applicator is. And this color is just, it's such a great nude. I, I love this. 
I highly recommend it if you want to spend $35 on a lipstick. I think it's great. I mean, this is it's not very matte, it's very comfortable. It's not going to dry down and I'm sure the lasting power is not going to be that great because of that. I've only worn it for like an hour yesterday and like obviously an hour doesn't tell you anything because I didn't eat or drink during that time, but I mean, I just think it's so cool. It's so pretty. And if you want a weapon in your purse, it's perfect. So if you guys have seen my new Juvia's Place review of the Afrique palette, I also ordered this, which is a Masquerade mini palette. It looks like this. And honestly, I, I think I made a mistake when I ordered this because I had been looking on their site for a while and I put the Magic Mini in my cart. And when I went to check out, it said that the Magic Mini was still in my cart even though it was sold out on their site. So maybe somehow they swapped it out with this palette or maybe I clicked the wrong button or something and I ended up with this. But I mean, I'm not mad about it. It's not a palette that I probably would have bought, but now that I have it, I'm not going to return it. But it, because I at some point would like to have all the Juvia's Place palettes because I think they're an amazing brand and I like to support them and I like the quality of their products. So I'm going to keep it and I'm going to be using it on my eyes today. And so the shade that is speaking to me the most, obviously, is this pink one. I think that's so pretty, but that looks to be a shimmer. So I'm not sure if I can use that in my crease, but I'm going to try it anyway, if I can find a good brush. And this is going to be a fairly simple look today even though it's colorful. I'm only gonna be using three shades, I think. Not like I did in my other video where I used all 12. But that was a fun video. If you haven't seen my review slash using all the shades in the palette that I did with the new Juvia's Place, then I will put, put that up in the card so you can go check it out. I'm actually really happy with how that video came out. So if you haven't yet checked it out, please do. Next, I'm going to take the purple shade right here. And I'm going to use this to deepen up my crease a little bit. I think since I've done so much green lately for my lid, I'm going to go in with this blue shade up here. And I think that's going to look really pretty. I'm so bad at describing colors. Like every time I go to describe a color, I'm like blue. Like I don't know like different shades of blue. I just cannot describe them for the life of me. So yeah, I'm going to spray my brush like I always do with some MAC Fix Plus. me or do a lot of people like cut their crease unnecessarily like I feel like especially with colors like Juvia's Place like the pigment is so amazing that you don't need to cut your crease every time like I see people doing it and then I just cover it up again afterwards and I'm like what's the point of that like you just wasted 10 minutes like yes there are times for cut creases but just because it's a trend right now and everyone is doing it doesn't mean you have to do with every look you do. Like, I can understand doing it if you're like an Instagram like makeup art account, like because cup creases always look really fancy and complicated and they show off your skills and stuff. But if you're a regular person, you don't need to always do a cup crease, you know? So I'm going to go back in with that purple shade and I'm just going to blend these two together. And also another rant just for regular people like myself, your makeup doesn't have to be perfect. Like you don't have to post a picture that looks absolutely incredible for every single look you do. Like it's okay if it's not perfect, like it's still gonna look good. Don't think of it as doing your makeup for Instagram if you're just a normal person who enjoys makeup. Like, just don't sweat it. Makeup is supposed to be fun, not stressful. I see so many people posting on my Instagram story, and these are the people that I unfollow, and they're like, oh my god, I have to do a look today, or oh my god, like, I wasn't happy with how it turned out, so I didn't want to post it, but I posted it anyway, and then I post it, and it's literally perfect. Like, 
guys, we need to not be such perfectionists. Like, it's okay to not be perfect. Like, you'll never be perfect. I'm just gonna tell you right now. That's just, it's how life is. You're never going to be perfect. I'm sorry to break it to you. And you should just stop trying because you're gonna run yourself into the ground. So that was the lesson for today. And I think I'm just, yeah, I just wanna have fun with makeup and I don't wanna take it so seriously. And that was the moral of that story. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm sure there'll be plenty more to come on this channel. Don't you worry. Next, I'm going back in with that pink shade, and I'm just going to put that on my lower lash line. Next, I'm taking that purple again, and I'm just bringing it down a little bit on the outer corner of my lower lash line. So I know I'm very late to the game on this, but I've never seen these in store before, and these are the... Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liners. I've seen Tati use it a few times and I know she loves it and I know a lot of people love it so I'm really excited to try this. I got this in the shade Distortion and it's a, it's kind of got like a white base with the yellow glitter in it. I'll try to swatch it for you right here. I don't know if you can see it. But it's really pretty and I'm going to put this in my inner corner. That is so pretty. Guys, I just... I have a love affair with glitter. I, you can't help it. I'm also going to pull this up on my lid a little bit. I think this would be really nice as a top around the top of a liquid liner as well. I wouldn't use it on its own as a liner, just because it's very transparent. But on top of shadows, and on top of other liners, this is really pretty. It reminds me a lot of the Stila glitters, actually. And I will definitely be using this a lot, so... I'm sorry in advance if this becomes one of those things that just end up in all my looks for no reason, but it could for sure happen. I will say this liner is irritating my eyes just a little bit. Like I feel a tiny bit of like a burning sensation right where I put it on, which that does happen to some liners, but it doesn't happen to me with the steel glitter. So, I mean, I'm sure it'll go away in a little bit, but I, def I definitely feel like there's something there. So if you have sensitive eyes, this might not be a good product for you. For liquid liner, I'm going to go in with my DHC liquid liner. I've shown this in like every video that I've ever done on my channel and I love this. And this was a recommendation from Samantha March, if I'm not mistaken. I will leave her channel down below as well and I really love her. I've been watching her for a long time and she is, she's an author but she also makes a lot of YouTube videos. I want to say she posts six days a week, maybe five, but she posts a lot. And her videos are really good, she's really funny. So for my waterline, since we are going pink today, I'm going to put this Wet n Wild pink pencil in there. And when I was at Sephora yesterday, I was looking at the new Sephora band Colorful Mascaras, and I wanted to get the pink one. And that actually would have been kind of cool with this look today, but they didn't have it in stock, so I didn't end up getting it. That's the only way I would ever use colored mascara though would be on my lower lash line. Like I think it looks kind of crazy when you put it on the top. Uh, speaking of mascara though, I actually do have a new mascara that I want to try. Melissa gave me the sample for the Smashbox Super Fan Fan Out Mascara. This is a little mini. So I'm going to be trying this, but I'm going to curl my lashes first because I want to give it a fair chance and do what I always do. Alright, let's test this bad boy out. Ooh, I like the wand on it a lot. That's really neat. It's kind of like a spiky wand, but it's thicker in the middle. I like these kind of wands a lot more than the fluffy ones, and I also don't like the wands that are like bent, if you know what I mean. So I've never tried a mascara from Smashbox. I don't even know if this is new or not. It does separate my lashes. I'm not seeing a lot of length though. I love the wand, but I don't like the formula of the mascara that much. I feel like this will be a lot better on my lower lashes than on my top lashes. Because I do like a little bit more 
fullness to my lashes, but I don't like them to be clumpy. And they don't get as long as I like them to be with this. Like, you have to really build it up. And keep in mind, I have pretty long lashes to begin with, so... What might look like it's doing a lot for me... It's not doing that much. Let's see. Okay, it's not bad. It just needs a little bit of work. And I do like how I can really get into like my inner corner and get all those little lashes in there. How often does this happen to you guys? I feel like it happens maybe once every two weeks or so. I don't know if I'm just really clumsy or, or if I don't know how to put on mascara properly, but you would think after doing my makeup for quite some time that I would know how to put on mascara by now, but accidents happen. I do like this for my lower lash line. This is looking really nice. So I'll for sure continue to use this. So I'm liking how this look is coming around. And just for the fun of it, I'm going to go back into my Dior palette and put on a little bit more highlight. Because I feel like it. And I'm going to just dip into the white one this time, the one right here. Oh, I love this. Wow. Okay, this is my new favorite highlighter. So I'm not sure how this cut off, but I was probably in the middle of putting on way too much highlight. And I was saying that I love the formula of this because it's very wet looking and it literally feels like it just melts into your skin right away. It's not glittery, it doesn't just like sit there. And it blends very well into my blush and it just looks Amazing. I put a little bit on my nose. I don't really understand why people put highlights on their chin, but since I'm a beauty girl now, I guess that's what I gotta do, right? So I'm really just waiting for my mascara little clump here to dry, so I'm gonna scrape that off. Okay, let me see if I can get this little mascara accident off. I have, don't have another spoolie around, so I'm just gonna use the one on the back of my brow pen. Oh, look at that. Comes right off. That was easy. So I guess that was my first get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to know more about the products that I use, I will try to link them all down in the description box. I don't know if they will all be available. Um, especially the Hourglass palette, this probably won't be because it's Nordstrom exclusive and I think their sale is about to end. So yeah, other than not really liking that one, I think I liked everything that I tried today. The primer is a little hard to tell, but I mean, I will say my skin is looking really good. So I am super happy with my, I mean, my favorite obviously is this Dior palette. It is so pretty. I mean, Dior is not a brand that I'm usually attracted to, but their new collection, the backstage collection, is just, it's to die for. Like, I never thought that I would end up getting a face product from Dior because it's expensive, but I love it. So I think that was it for today's video. If you guys want to see more of these kind of videos, let me know. And it's very easy for me to sit down and talk and hopefully, you know, I'll be able to edit this down to a decent amount of time and not have it be an hour long. But yeah, thank you so much if you stuck around for this whole video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the video. And I'm sure you did if you're still around. So thank you so much. And let me know what else you want to see on my channel. And I will just see you in my next one. Bye.